Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the 757 Renaissance Man Podcast. This episode is a long time coming. I am here with my big brother. And hold on, let me get let me get it right. <clears throat> Dr. John Lewis. How are you doing, sir? Well, my friend. Well, my friend. You're doing well, brother. How about yourself? This is great. I can't stop smiling because our history is so deep, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So, so that is the crazy part about it is that uh, this is the evolution of what we were doing back at, at age, you know, in the eight 80s. and ten, Look, right, in the right, 80s. in the eighties, <laughs> right, in the eighties. You know, you know, people talk about eighties babies. I mean, we were we were teching it up with gaming platforms and stuff back there. You know, I had an Odyssey too. You're like, well, let me throw that back. I'm gonna show you. I got an Odyssey one. And I was like, oh shoot, I didn't even know they made one. <laughs> So you're like, I got a pocket. I'm like, I got a pocket too. Like, oh shoot! So this is incredible, man. This is us. Uh, this is uh, definitely a game recognized game. You know, we, yeah, we are. Man. It's good to be here, and good to be here with you specifically on this platform. So you, we were black nerds before we realized what black nerds were. Right. Right. And I'm talking yeah. about five, six years old together. Absolutely. Like I remember, like you brought up the Odyssey, but then I remember when I got the Nintendo. And then you was like, well, I got the Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> no, even, hold on, it even goes back before that. I had Atari 2600, and then you got the 5600. <laughs> <laughs> it was, so, so it was like, people didn't even have platform wars where we were having platform right. wars, right? It, was, it didn't <laughs> even like, exist. <laughs> it didn't exist. <laughs> oh, man. And that, that's so, but you know, that, that, that's. Isn't that what it is, though? Isn't that isn't that the history of our people that you know that we were next level before anybody else knew right, about it, right? Right. Before you know, to, like we saw the whole progression of the video game industry. It wasn't even an industry back then, right? It was just you know it was it was really incredible because I remember what you brought up was uh, you're like, hey, I got that at home. Odyssey, they make this. Is that? Oh yeah, what? And you're like, you had Pong, mm -hmm. and I was like, Pong was the you know that was the the quintessential that was the first video game that people were playing at home on their TVs and you look into what has evolved to then and you and I were just kind of a early adopters that's the term mm -hmm. that we use today right we were on that uh the, on the leading edge of gaming technology and actually home computers we were programming back yeah. in those days too before we talked about stem and all those things and yet if you read the narrative you would believe that people like you and I didn't exist right and it's okay so I'm glad you brought that up I I go back to our childhood and we were extremely blessed because we came up in the late 80s, early 90s when the whole narrative was, you know, there were no black male figures in the house. Right. You know, everybody's in the hood doing crack. Right. And I was like, no, I had a whole community of black men to look up to. Absolutely. Not just my father. I had Absolutely. your father. I Absolutely. had a church full of men doing things that were either in the military, worked for the shipyard, um, right. you know, had their own businesses. And so I, it was hard for me to, to, I went through like an identity crisis a little bit because it's hard. I'm like, this is what they say it's supposed to be, but this isn't what it is. Right. And then we got to think about our parents personally, like right. my dad and your mom together just them we're not even talking about the other parents or the other my dad and your mom if your mom influenced me a lot and my dad right. influenced you a lot absolutely absolutely and and so so that is the narrative that that these platforms and and, and podcasts and now people amplifying black voices allows us to rewrite you know, you know, we talk about the 1619 Project as if critical race theory and all these things are brand new. No, they, they, these stories are old. We're just telling them to the masses now. Mm -hmm. 
you and I lived these stories where we had strong black figures in our churches, in our households, who told us an alternative history beyond that you were, you know, you were in Africa, you were a slave, Abraham Lincoln's freed you, and there was Martin Luther King. We knew our stories were richer than that. So your dad, if you allow me to, you know, give him, you know, his shine, was the first black health professional I ever knew. It wasn't even a question like, uh, you know, oh, could you do this and stuff? Could you not do this? Your dad was a commissioned officer and was in the, you know, health corps or, or, or whatever the, uh, the the division was at that time, you know, in the 1970s. And that was unheard of. But it was enough to make it a tangible, a living thing. Well, I'm like, oh, shoot, I can grow up. You like, I can grow up. I can go into science. I can be going to medicine. I can be because your pops had done it. We had to stop thinking that black people are this monolithic group that, you know, we have one story, one narrative, one outcome. We knew people in all industries. We knew pro athletes, guys who went to high school with us. But we also knew, like I said, doctors, lawyers. We also had school teachers, brothers that were in the classroom. Mr. Parker, shout out to the guys yeah. at Deep Creek. You know, we had a, I'm going to use this. I'm going to flip this. We came from a place called Camelot. A land of kings and queens. Mm -hmm. That's where we grew up. We grew up in a place of roughly, roughly a thousand households of working class, middle class, and some even upper middle class to black get a families. Bit of history on that. Right, Camelot wasn't meant for us. We took <laughs> Camelot over. 